Hey, this is Aaron with 3D Printer OS. Today we're going to be unboxing the Dremel Idea Builder. The first thing you'll notice is this looks a lot more like a tool and not necessarily like a 3D printer. Uh, most 3D printers come in actually just a cardboard box. Not really sure exactly what's inside, but this one clearly is something that you know you can build something with in the home. Uh, just looking around this box, first thing you notice is it points out things you could actually make. So right here we have chess pieces, uh, we have an SD card holder, and here we have like a pencil tray holder. Coming to the back side, I mean, there's things like a warranty and different features. So this is much more like a drill or a home power tool instead of you know, a home manufacturing machine. Let's get this bad boy out the box and see what's in here. I've got my handy quick start guide ready. It's time to get this bad boy unassembled. Take the top off here. Hopefully that doesn't fall. What do we have? It looks like we got a power cord, USB cable. What else do we got for goodies? Ah, a nice Dremel spatula. SD card, and I'm assuming an extruder tool. Let's get this off. This is one of the best packed printers I've seen. Today we're going to show you how to install your filament into your Dremel Idea Builder. Two things you're going to need are filament spool holder and some filament. Way to put this in is with the receiving end of the filament facing towards the filament tube in the back here. To insert, we drop it into the filament slot. Hopefully you can see there. And the uh, Dremel Idea Builder has these clips right here, which have a receiving end on the back of the spool holder. You just need to make sure they match up. So let's do that. And my calculations are correct. As soon as it's in, you give it a twist. Filament's locked into place, ready to load. To insert the build plate, what you need to do is match up the two tabs here with the two tabs in the back. Insert like this, and you can see here they have this front clip that you can decompress. Pull that back, and when you hear it clip into place, you're ready to start printing. As you can see here, this is the Dremel home screen. You can see the tab, filament. To load, click the filament button, click load, and patiently wait for the extruder to heat. Now that the extruder is heated, you're gonna to wanna to compress the extruder spring right here, insert the filament until you feel the, uh, the stepper motors catch, like so. and let the printer do its work. As you can see here, some filaments already starting to extrude from the bottom. And your printer's ready to go. As you can see, I'm holding up this leveling sheet. It should have came in your original box. This here signifies 0.3 millimeters clearance. If you don't have this, you could use just a standard piece of paper. To start the leveling process, right here on the home screen, click the level button. As you can see, the extruder is going to run to different points on the build platform, so you can check to see if your build platform is level. I'm going to hit next and get the process going. Slide it in there. And the left one is perfect. Hit next. And this one, as you can see, is maybe not. So this screw right here, to the left lowers it, and to the right raises it back up. We're going to tighten this one until it perfectly aligns. And by perfect, I mean the paper should just clear the, uh, between the extruder and the build platform. 
send it to the back. And this one is a little bit too low. Hit next to finish. And we are perfect. Ready to start printing. And for today's purposes, we're gonna print from the SD card. Uh, let's click on the build files here. And I think uh, Child's Dice seems like the best thing for us. As you can see here, all we need to do is click build. We're going. 